Statue Hunter 75 here with something that just came in the mail today. It actually came damaged, but Corner Store Comics, who I ordered it from, is going to replace it. So, um, I, I couldn't wait to do the video for the replacement. I want you to see it now because this piece is just really, really amazing. They did a great job. Packaging could have been better, obviously, because there is a lot of stuff that can break on them. But without further ado, it's Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition Oni Collector's Edition Premium Quality Resin Statue from State of the Art Toys and Capcom. Now this is probably their best statue to date, honestly. They see like Oni stats and you know the people who did the sculpt. Alex Gao did a great job on the sculpt. And you see the concept sketch was by Gang Yang and Alex Gao. Paint produced by, manufactured by, and then you see a picture of the awesome Oni. That's a sick picture. That would have been cool if they did the statue like that too. But they didn't do a bad job on it. They did a great statue, but that looks really cool. There's an actual back. Whoop, the broken part just fell. The back and the art on the back. And then all the licensing. And the side of the box, pretty cool. See Oni's belt. Oni with his eyes lit up. I'll show you the light up feature too. And then the front of the box you already saw. Now, <clears throat> the song playing in the background is Oni's theme music from Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. And I can't say it enough, if anyone from Capcom watches these videos, why the hell won't you make that version of the game for the Nintendo 3DS, either as a DLC or an actual whole game, because everyone would buy it. Now here's the bad news, here's how he came damaged, but like I said, they're going to replace it. It's falling apart a little bit here. And obviously the piece that was broken off. So, for review purposes, so you can see what he looks like 100%. I'll put it back on for you, if I can get it to stay. Which I think if you give me a minute, I can get it to stay. That's what he looks like. Which is really, really nice. The belt looks great. They did a great job on the belt. The base looks awesome. My one gripe, and it ain't that bad, his feet look kind of big. But the sculpt on them is really cool. He's got one connector in that foot, and that foot has no connector. And when you see the light-up feature, this is also Soda's best light-up feature to date. Although the quarter-scale Ryu has a nice uh, light-up feature. But... This is just uh, really nice. I'm, I'm just in awe at this piece. Very happy with it. Very pleased. His hair sculpt looks really cool. The base sculpt looks really detailed and nice. The pants. Usually they screw up Akumas. They've screwed up. I don't know. The other Akuma didn't look that great. Oh, look at that. There's a hole in the back of his hair, too. That's not good. That broke off, too. <sighs> Little piece of styrofoam. Yeah, I am definitely trading him out. I'm getting a brand new piece. Screw that. I was going to say to myself, I'll just glue the arm and fix it, but no way. There's too much damage on this piece. They're all little purple chips, too. It just... Ugh, these statues, they don't package them safely. But, you know... I know Cornerstone Comics will make good and replace it, so... Otherwise, I'll be doing another video tearing them apart. So, they're going to take care of it. Richard over there is really good to me. He's helped me out in the past when I got a damaged statue from them. So I'm not too concerned. But this is just amazing. It's number 262 out of only 500. They just did an amazing job with the purple hato floating around them with the balls. And, you know, Oni's always known for having... Um, you know, the um, the balls, like as you can see on my iPad, which was playing the music. You see the picture of Oni with the balls floating around him. That's just his trademark. So, this guy just looks amazing. If you hold for one second, I'm going to set you down in front of his box. And I'm going to go turn on 
the light up feature for you so you can see what he looks like with the light up feature on You'll bear with me I'm still here just trying to get it on for you another funny thing is there's no slot for batteries it's just a, um, like a USB plug. Which is a tight fit also. And they amp the plug down too. Which they could have did a little better, but... You know what? That's fine. Alright guys, without further ado, in front of the Wolstoff knives, knives, and my stove, I show you the lit up Oni Akuma. The light up feature is great. The base looks amazing. Just so cool. He's so bright. If you'll wait one second, I'll even shut all the lights off. So you can see what he looks like with all the lights off. Give me one second. Now we see him all lit up. It just looks amazing. The lava at the base looks so cool. The purple. The lights are so bright they're even coming through the camera. His hair looks good. His demon eyes look awesome. This is a great piece. I highly recommend it. If you are a Street Fighter fan or an Akuma fan, which I am both, I highly recommend this piece. It's amazing. The light up feature is so nice and bright. I can't wait for them to send me the replacement so I can set them up in between my other Shin Akuma from Soda and my regular Akuma. And that's going to look awesome with him in the middle. So and in the uh, new Street Fighter room which I'm soon to debut also. So let me turn the light back on give you one last look at my Oni here with the lights on and then we'll call it a night. So yeah he looks great. Very nicely done. Looks good from the back too. Very nice light up feature, very bright lights. All right, guys. Have a good night. Oh, looks like we have a loose connection in that. The light there. On the back, yeah. That's just a slight little. All right, guys. Have a good night.